that out in the open and in response to that. What's it mean for who? Oh, for them? To, for you to right. see it. For me to see it? Yeah. Um, I'm happy for them. I'm happy that they get an opportunity to do this. Um, I hope it. Uh, I hope it's what people thought it was going to be. I don't think it's going to be, but I hope it's what it's going to be. All those geniuses on TV who kept talking about how great it is for these kids to capitalize on their name, image, and likeness. Now kids are picking schools based on that. It has nothing to do with basketball anymore. Where can I get, where can I monetize myself? So that's changed already. Schools are recruiting kids just based on that. Kids are making decisions just based on that. It's not about basketball, it's not about academics, it's about NIL. But no one's explained to them that only two, uh, two kids on your team are ever going to get any of that. The other 10 of you are going to be left watching those other guys do commercials. Nobody tells them that part. So I'll be anxious to, I'm anxious to see how it all plays out. But I'm happy for Paige and AZ. You know, they're great kids, they're great teammates. They, you know, um, they deserve it, I guess. I mean, it's, um, it's a great opportunity that never existed before. And I'm glad that they can take advantage of that opportunity. What, what's going to come out at the end of this year is what are all the unintended consequences of all this? You know, people talk about, yo, you know, well, you know, coaches can do this and coaches can do that. Well, you know, if I didn't perform to the level that I needed to perform at, I would have been out of my job. So when you get paid to do certain things, there's a performance expectation. <clears throat> so hopefully they can perform at a level that they want to perform at and not get caught up in this other stuff. Hopefully. I mean, I know I was mature enough and savvy enough and smart enough when I was 18 to handle all that. <laughs> I'm 67 and I have no goddamn idea how to handle the stuff I have to do now. So I'm, you know, keeping my fingers crossed that everybody comes out of this exactly the way it was intended to be. I doubt it, but we'll know more at the end of the year how we can help those that do get all the opportunities and how we can help those that don't get any of the opportunities. Because when mentally all these kids start to go through certain changes mentally because of what they expect and then what reality hits, we're left to deal with that, not the geniuses who think that this is a great idea for everybody and that's going to benefit everybody. So that's my long-winded answer to that question. <laughs> How are you, I guess, to follow up on that, seeing AZ and Paige handle that? Just... Great. They've handled it great. <clears throat> They've handled it great. I don't worry about how they handle it. I worry about how their people handle it. So I don't worry about how Paige and Easy handle it. They're going to handle it great because they're great kids and they're great teammates. But generally speaking, that's not where you got to keep an eye on. So I'm keeping my eye on that, not necessarily Paige and Easy.